this morning. I wake up about five o'clock and then <coughs> I realized that I left something really important on the plane. So I've been trying to contact Lost and Found and Emirates for ages and it's just nothing's working. So now I'm waiting for um, this live chat thing. I really hope that it hasn't been thrown out because it's really important to me. And I'm really hungry as well. I'm trying to get in contact with the lost and found. I still haven't been able to. I've been trying for hours. Um, everyone I call gives me another number to call or a number that doesn't work. So, it's, yeah, it's kind of killing my buzz a bit today. But it's my own fault for being... Ke not careless, but just not realising I left it in the seat in front, so it's not the end of the world if I lose this, I guess, but it's just really important to me. I need a coffee badly, so I'm about to go out. I'm going to have to just go to the airport and yeah, ask in person or something. Peace. So, I just spent like 30 euros get a cab to this like Emirates office in like the middle of nowhere um, to ask them because I was just having no luck on the phone. They said they're gonna email me within the hour. Um, yeah I'm just trying to stay positive that they find it. Um, on the plus side it's a really beautiful sunny day. Um, I don't know where I am. Yeah, it's taking away a lot of the time that I have here. I'm only here for two more days here in Rome, but um, it's, I guess, part of the journey. I guess on the um, plus side, I'm seeing a part of uh, Rome that I'm guessing most tourists uh, don't really see. I don't know what this is. I'm heading there now. So this morning I realized that I lost uh, a really important uh, folder, like an art folder of mine. I left it on the plane, stupidly. So I had to like get a taxi yeah, like in the middle of nowhere. I mean, some like a random ass shopping center. It's a bit of a bummer because I really wanted to be like at the Coliseum today. But still, there's still time. So on the plus side, I'm in this little shopping center and I just got this awesome, looks awesome food and the waiter is like inside me at the beginning. I'm having the aperitivo thing. Okay. Good appetito. Do you like some bread? Um, si. Yeah, so yeah. Mm. Experiencing a part of um, Rome, the outer suburbia, which probably most tourists don't get to see. Just waiting for a bus now. I've been spending more money than I thought I was because I was thinking a different conversion of euros to Australian dollars in my head. Catch the bus now, which is another challenge. It took me ages to find this bus stop, I'm like going around to everyone going like Dove la fermata dell'autobus? No one could understand me. It's like a really hard being somewhere where like there's a language barrier. I thought more people would be able to understand English. So I'm trying to make an effort to speak Italian. I'm like lost in the suburban streets of Rome. Long story short, video documenting everything. And I'm walking down this street called Via Shakespeare. Shakespeare, Shakespeare Street which is cool, makes this so um, poetic in a way. I don't really know where I am, which is kind of cool. Like, now that I've seen that I'm on Shakespeare Street. I mean, I'm lost, but I'm not lost. I mean, I have Google Maps at the end of the day, but I'm trying to not rely on my phone for things. It's quite beautiful.
Um, Romeo, Romeo, where for I die, Romeo. I don't know what this place is. It's kind of crazy. Like I want to go in there, but I don't think it's like a thing that we go in there. It's like some digital thing. Have you ever needed to make up a story you believed where you were the hero? I just don't know why. I'm on this bus and I'm so lost. I got on the wrong bus. And it's completely the wrong bus because I'm looking at my Google Maps and it's not going anywhere near. I want to be. But I'm so exhausted and tired that. At this point, I'm just enjoying the scenery and just trying to get my head calm so I don't get anxiety and myself freaking out. That's it's getting late, it's getting dark, and I can like no way to do anything. I got off the bus and I'm just gonna try a walk now. Trying to get a another bus. Um but I guess I always said that I wanted to have a proper authentic experience and not just being a typical tourist. So yeah, I'm really getting to know suburbia today and that's great. No, it is. It is good. I think the only dab no really is that I still haven't heard about this folder. And like, you know, if I found out right now that they've got it and it's safe, like, I could walk in suburbia all, all, like, <laughs> all day. Like, I don't care. Like, it's beautiful. It's just, yeah. It's getting sort of late now. I'm getting worried. Every moment, I just don't know what to tell you except that everything is fine as long as you are mine, and we can work it out. It's what I'm built to do. You wake me up in the night. I'm back at the hotel. It's about 10.30 at night. Um, yeah, today has been difficult. I still, well, I haven't actually checked my emails yet, so I don't know about the folder, but yeah, for the last um, like five hours, I don't even know how long I was so lost and I just kept I don't know, I must have walked around the same blocks a hundred times searching the street and I would ask for directions and people would help me as best as they can but they would point in one way and I would go that way and then I would ask someone else and they would say another way and I, would, it would, I wouldn't even be anywhere near where I was supposed to go and this just kept going on and on. My phone was flat so... Um, I couldn't get hold of Google Maps. Um, I had a street map, but it was like useless. Or like, the, I don't know, the street that I have wasn't even on the map. Um, yeah, so I've just been walking nonstop and been lost basically the whole day. 
So, I mean, by the end of it, I couldn't even bring myself to ask people. Like, it was hard for me to actually ask people for help by the end of it because I was so, I don't know, disheartened and just really struggling. Like, at one point, I just had to stop and sit down and just cry because it was really exhausted. Like, I'm exhausted and I'm just hoping and praying that um, my folder is found. Um, I went to the Sistine Chapel though, which was beautiful. And uh, there was a service going on there, so I joined in. Yeah, I hope and pray that tomorrow is a good day and that the events of today and tonight will make sense to me. Um, yeah, but I, I mean, I got, I got to walk around the entire city of Rome. It's so confusing here. There's just so many streets, so many little streets and then, oh. As soon as I got back, I was like, <sighs> "Bring that one here." I dropped my stuff. You take my love and you need it. You take my breath just to feed it. But even though I know that you're feeling sad, it doesn't change the way that I feel my emotions. Even though I know that you're feeling sad I've got a future to build and sadness isn't part of the plan